So at least I can talk about this match just because it is a Yoshi main, but I will try to not be super ultra biased. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure who Casey will uh, in doubles. He was going Ike. I don't know if that was like a novelty thing or not, but I know him as a zero suit main. Actually, I had to fight him round one of my birthday and got bopped. Zero suit, he's scary. to Smashville. I respect it. Uh, all right, I really don't know uh, what's up with the uh, character choices from Casey. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Zelda is, I think, a super untapped character, uh, even though I guess she does have horrendous traits. Kind of like Gan, where you know, most of the time she does hit like a bus and can certainly keep uh, her opponent out. So you, can't, you shouldn't really count her out too much. But uh, for a rushdown character like like yeah, uh, like Yoshi, uh, I think uh, rushdown characters do excel fairly well. Whereas um, like Duck Hunt or I guess even Link. Uh, would definitely struggle against her, in my opinion. So, uh, Casey keeping it really respectable, uh, kind of just like ev evading, you know, the typical Yoshi combos until you know that fair kind of happened. But 59%, uh, so uh, not out of the realm. But uh, Zelda will have to do a lot of work to bring this back, and. When Zelda's uh, down, I feel like bringing it back is one of the hardest things for her to do until she gets, you know, that that rage, that, you know, high level, probably like 80 uh, plus percent rage to really just add some real emphasis on her attacks. I feel like uh, Casey was going for the read to try to get up air, but uh, wow. Yeah, that's probably, you know, a good way to, you know, handle Yoshi as opposed to. But as I was talking about earlier, I feel like, you know, rushdown characters really uh, give Zelda a hard time. And Chris was just kind of running a train, curb stomping, what other, other words you would like to say. Uh, and uh, Zelda doesn't really have, like, a panic option, per se. To be, uh, you know, like a GTFO move to get characters out of her space. So uh, she just kind of either, you know, hope that her opponent uh, misses an attack, uh, good DI from their part, or uh, no, just their opponent's too sluggish, yeah, like a neutral beer or something like that. So. But, but this is the high end rage I was talking about where, uh, you know, get, give Yoshi another 20 or so percent, I feel like a uh, down throw up there could potentially uh, end it. Cause see, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I feel like those ledges on Smash will really mess up uh, teleporting characters' trajectory. So, game one goes to Chris. And I'd want to say I would expect a character switch from KC, but uh, I, from all the character choices I've seen from him today, uh, I really don't even know what to reliably say without being wrong. So. So no, it looks like he will be staying Zelda. I believe that was a run back to Smashville. Yeah, which uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, no. I don't think he was doing anything necessarily wrong. It's just, you know, Yoshi's just kind of a machine uh, when you let him get the momentum. So, and just like that, you know, 70% unanswered within the first 15 seconds. Uh, says a lot. But I believe, you know, when a Zelda gets a down throw, you should definitely be scared because uh, I feel like the option Zelda has out of down air could definitely be devastating. Uh, it's, 
that was actually a great ledge jump by Chris, and it's really refreshing to see uh, Ayoshi try to go for a ledge jump uh, with our back air, just because our back air is uh, a great KOing tool, super potent for stuff like that. But again, I believe the Smashville uh, angle ledge, whatever you want to call it, kind of messed up KC's trajectory and just kind of pushed him underneath Smashville. So that's that's super unfortunate. One thing about uh, Casey Zelda I actually like is uh, I feel like while well, he up aired through uh, the Naru's love, or Naru's love, but as I was saying, uh, I feel like, oh my gosh, that back air was amazing. No, oh, that's super unfortunate. I was going to say that, uh, you know, his edge guarding Yoshi with Zelda is actually pretty superb, and uh, that, that's just scary, you know, when you're Yoshi off stage and, you know, Zelda's high. Uh, knockback moves probably would be able to knock us out of armor relatively easily.